The online game technology for space education and system analysis study has been performed to assess options for ESA with regards to using online game technology in the areas of promotion, education, and engineering. A core result of the study is that online game technologies are potentially powerful tools for ESA. Benefits include enabling awareness about space, supporting knowledge transfer, education and collaboration, as well as public awareness of the agency. Games and interactive environments can be of value to ESA beyond their entertainment value only. This video is recorded from a gameplay prototype based on Entropia Universe, the massively multiplayer online game solution provided by MindArk. The following describes a possible future product, but all the visuals come from the existing prototype and are possible to implement with current technologies. The game context is set on Europa, one of the moons of Jupiter, in the not-too-distant future. The general concept is to create an environment that can be both exciting to visit and play in, and that offers learning opportunities about space and Earth of today through one environment. We will now follow a group of players as they proceed through the activities of the game. All astronauts are to gather by the radio telescope to receive the mission briefing, wearing their space gear. this briefing. You will need this information to start and finish the mission successfully. I will hand out the missions at the end of my introduction. But first, a few questions. Traditional teaching may be included in a virtual world, for instance through presentations and streamed audio. It is less of a gameplay feature but could be a necessary component as a tutorial to the game activity that follows. A quiz for the group. How long does it take a radio signal to reach Earth from here? 10 seconds, 10 minutes, 1 hour, or 10 hours. Most of you did get it right. It takes close to an hour, 43 minutes, for light from the sun to travel here, and between 34 and 51 minutes for a radio signal from Earth, depending on the relative positions in orbit around the sun. Right now, it is close to 51 minutes. Time to start your mission, and remember, the mission descriptions are available in your inventory, and for some, there is a need to cooperate to solve the problem in a rapid manner. Good luck! Events do not need to be limited to teachers. They can just as well be held by other players or by invited ESA experts. Gameplay can be designed to support players arranging such events. For instance, some players can act as in-game mentors that earn points in the game from helping others. Mentoring is a natural activity in an online environment. The teacher is available just as any other social networking contact for questions. In an immersive environment, the teacher can join in with a student or a team to assess the progress or to provide help in getting around a problem. Many of the educational games used today are single-player games that do not offer learning beyond drill and practice of isolated subjects. Immersive online games offer opportunities for exploratory learning as well as interaction between players. Find the blueprint and objects for making a seismic surveyor. Immersive online games can be used for learning using semi-open-ended simulations as the basis and assigning tasks to the students through missions or quests. This should be a good match for ESA-related subjects, as it takes on a systems-oriented approach, where the players need to attain knowledge about the detailed facts and work together to progress or excel in the game. Exploratory environments can be created as virtual laboratories with open-ended gaming capabilities. They can also be given a constraining rule set that limits some players more than others, creating challenges that balance the capabilities of the players. I have the seismic sensor. Has anyone found the other items? I have found them. Here, the players gather around one of the manufacturing machines and exchange the items. A result of this is a piece of equipment and a new mission to all three players. 
The new mission requires two of us to go back out again to repair a falter rover. Yeah, but we need information from a satellite to find it. Who will give us that? I can do it. You two can explore on the ice. I will coordinate from the control room. Although this demonstrator takes place in a space environment, an online game environment does not have to be limited to pure space environments, nor to learning about space. For instance, a meeting arena can be implemented based on Earth-like conditions, or the space environment can contain a number of references to conditions elsewhere, for instance, comparing findings, measurements or conditions to those on Earth. You need to move southwest about 140 meters. Beware of the ice in that area. Roger that. Immersive online games offer good potential for collaborative gameplay. In order to excel in such gameplay, players need to engage in activities that have other benefits than just completing their own goals. Rover found. We're sending the data now. Data received. Well done. Modern online games offer a number of capabilities for creativity and players applying their knowledge in a safe environment, designing and testing out through simulations. It looks like it ran out of power. It is a model from the Mars project. It seems to be too weak for Europa. Yes, the solar radiation is only about a quarter of that on Mars, but we probably need special whales for ice traction as well. Okay, if you change the parts, I will reprogram the terrain follower to keep it on track next time. The online aspect also enables such sandbox environments to be shared, enabling teamwork as well as competitions. In this aspect, the sharing crosses over into learning by providing the good example, making players evaluate what others have designed. Ready to commence in a few minutes. Drivers, please prepare yourselves. I'm very pleased with everyone's achievement today. Now let's meet up by the race area to watch the rover competition. Games have the benefit of creating challenges for the players. Challenges that push the player to either follow a story or to explore the environment to gather information or resources. Shared game environments enable such challenges to be created by players. Sharing also enables learning from what others are doing by letting players act as in-game spectators. What you have just yeah. seen is a mock-up, a demonstration of the capabilities immersive learning environments and online games can offer. It has been recorded from a live prototype environment based on Entropia Universe. Games and virtual environments online can support a multitude of ESA focus aspects in promoting the agency and the activities relating to reaching out. Games can also be effective tools in helping to bridge over a number of boundaries, such as social, knowledge, physical, or time. For education, games can be motivators to attract the student to the space-related subjects, offering various challenges that require learning and attaining system knowledge. Using Sandbox Technologies virtual workshops can enable creativity through exploration, yet enable real people to work together in realistic environments in real time. Online games are not only feasible, game development is also mature activity, and games like the one you have seen are possible to implement within realistic timeframes and at reasonable costs. Increasing the awareness and knowledge about space are issues far too important not to be played out in a game.